What's going on you guys? Welcome back to EP09. It is only one more day until the 2023 Arnold Classic. One more day. I'm excited you guys. Finally, we get to see these guys throw down on one of the biggest stages in bodybuilding to see who takes home that Arnold Classic title, that $300,000 paycheck, and the momentum that will carry over for the entire 2023 season. Now I wanted to start with an update in classic physique from Mike Sommerfeld because not a lot of people are talking about Mike as a title contender, but you know, to be completely honest, maybe more people should be. This guy did take 5th at the Olympia this year too, don't forget. And after seeing Mike's update picture with his coach Neil Yoda Hill, this is really making me question Ers being in 2nd place this weekend. Mike's structure is absolutely perfect for Classic. He really has that Arnold-like structure more than anyone in the lineup, you know? His physique just flows so well from top to bottom. What he needed to do is improve on his conditioning from the Olympia. And man, I think he's done it. I think he's going to be bigger than Urs for sure based on what we're seeing from Urs right now. So, could the conversation shift to Mike Sommerfeld versus Ramon Dino for that top spot? You know, I was convinced that Ramon had that top spot all sewn up, and everyone else will be fighting for second place. But after seeing this update from Mike, <laughs> this is very, very impressive. Keep your eyes on Mike Sommerfeld this weekend. He's coming in to fight for the win. Now switching back to open, we're seeing some very impressive updates from Nick Walker, yet again, less than 48 hours until he takes the stage. And I think the big talk is around Nick's crazy conditioning and his waistline. I mean, these update pictures, it's insane how tight Nick is able to keep his waist. Now, a lot of you guys in my last video were commenting on Nick having a bubble gut, and of course, Nick does not have the smallest waistline genetically, but I mean, bubble gut? <laughs> you guys, come on. This is a very tight waistline, and as I said in the comments, it all comes down to what Nick is going to present on stage, and he does have very good stomach control on stage, and he's been focusing on improving that as well. Now, his conditioning is a whole other thing that I'm really impressed by, because we expected that Nick would come in crazy peeled. He always does. Conditioning is not something that he needed to do you know, better, I guess you could say, as compared to the 2022 Olympia, but his conditioning is definitely improved, which is that much more impressive. Nick really wants that win, and he's firing some serious shots with these updates. Well, I actually woke up this morning to shots fired from the Samson Data Camp. Samson released this picture at less than 48 hours from prejudging, and Samson is not going to disappoint. Just look at this update. This will easily be the best Samson Dowda to ever take the stage. The legs are full and round, his chest looks massively bigger than the Olympia. The graininess, the hardness, and uh, I'll show you in his training video. The feathering in the triceps, just, just insane you guys. It's insane. Samson's traps look a lot bigger and fuller too. I know he's been specifically focusing on them during training sessions, and man, all of it. The last six months of straight dieting with no breaks, it's all gonna pay off. I know Milos is ecstatic, no surprise there. Milos thinks Samson's physique is going to change the standard for every top level Olympian out there. And you know what? He just might. Aesthetics are here to stay, ladies and gentlemen, and Samson is showing up at his absolute best. Now it looks like William Bonak is showing up at his best this weekend too, and I know I keep saying it you guys, but it's true. William knows how to work that Arnold stage. He's got a ton of experience up there. He's won two of them. And it looks like he's bringing the physique to get his redemption after his disappointing Olympia placing. The fullness and the roundness and detail of William's back, it's just some of the best that you'll find out there. And I think it's safe to say that William still got it. And he can't be counted out this weekend. Now, there was an interesting comparison between William and Nick Walker put up by who is the best bodybuilder Instagram. I'll show you guys here. And yes, these pictures are taken from about six days out for each of these guys, but the lighting is in favor of Bonac here, I think. But even looking past that, <laughs> you know, you, you got to admit, William looks like he's coming for a dogfight, man, and he does have muscle maturity over Nick, there's no question. I have William in fourth in my predictions, and after seeing these pictures, I still feel good about that. William wants redemption, and he's coming to fight for it. Anyway, that's it for me in this video, you guys. Classic Physique weighs in today. We'll see how all the guys do there. Only one more day until pre-judging. Thank you for tuning in to EP09. I'll have all the updates for you guys right here. Be sure to like and subscribe.